guys, welcome back for a chatty get ready with me. I'm gonna do my makeup, my hair, get ready for the day. I've got a few errands to run and then I'm gonna be filming that Q&A video. You guys submitted questions for it like a couple weeks ago. Today I'm gonna to film it and I'm gonna get ready. We've got vlogger fair and vlogger day this weekend. I'm really excited about it. I'm at least going for vlogger day. Hopefully gonna learn some amazing new things to help bring you amazing content. <laughs> oh, and my lookbook. I'm gonna chat about that too. Also, I have to give a special shout out to Derm Store for sponsoring this video. They let me pick out three sets that I was wanting to try from their website, and they wanted me to share their giftable beauty sale that they have going on. So they're doing a bunch of gift sets, and like this one, this is the one I picked out for makeup stuff. First impressions coming soon. Um, yeah, this gift set, it's a $90 value, but it's only 50 bucks, and you get to try out a ton of Juice Beauty products. So this lipstick, actually that's not gonna be a first impression. I could not keep my hands off this thing. Like as soon as it got here, I opened it up, I was swatching stuff. <laughs> but anyways, a lot of the others are gonna be first impressions. I'm gonna get started with that CC cream. And I did kind of do a little swatch in the back of my hand of these. And honestly, like, I think I'm smacked out in between. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of each and we'll see how that works. I'm just gonna kind of mix it up. I feel like I'm getting really, really pale again. Pale girl problems. Actually, it's not a problem. I'm just pale, nothing wrong with that. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna mix these on my beauty blender. This is my favorite way to apply a foundation. If I'm, if I'm being totally honest, oh yeah, look at that. I love using a beauty blender because I feel it gives you like the most airbrushed coverage. And me, like being the thrifty person that I am, I wanted to try and like use those little cosmetic wedges or whatever, you know, those like really cheap ones. And they do not work like the beauty blender. Like after you've gone to the beauty blender, like you just can't go back. You just can't. Now that I see how like smooth this is applying, I think you could do this without a beauty blender, to be honest. I was thinking it was gonna be thick, but like it's very, it almost feels like a serum. Like it's a serum type. CC cream, which I love personally, SPF 35. Okay, what's next? Let's do eyelashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm gonna be using my Tartlet palette today. Pretty sure they have that on Derm Store. I don't know, but I went through my palettes yesterday. Am I scaring you guys with this? I'm like <laughs> getting, getting in there. Uh, I was going through my palettes yesterday and trying to like really search and see, okay, what are my favorites? What am I just holding on to? And what are the things that like I'm just not using, but I actually really love them? Like, what am I missing out on? Okay, I'm gonna use this shade here. It's called Natural Beauty. This kind of looks like a plummy, mauve -y... I don't know. It's fall, you guys. That's what it looks like. It looks like fall. So I'm gonna do that all over the lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of Power Player. It's a really nice gray and I'm gonna put that in the crease. I think my brush is a little preloaded with some warm color as well so we'll get all that in there. Okay if you want to just stop there you can just cover up the other eye with your hair and nobody will know. Okay so let's chat a little bit. So this weekend is vlogger day and vlogger fair. I don't know if anybody is that's watching is going to that, but I'm pretty excited. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest because I don't know what to expect. And I've had a few people ask me if I'm going and like, you know, I'd like to hopefully collaborate with a few people and be able to like film something for you guys. People that maybe would not normally in, be in my area to where I could film with them in person. So I'm kind of excited about that. This video is hopefully gonna be going up on Friday. So it'll be before I'm actually there. And if you know of anybody that you would like to see me um, collaborate with, let me know or tag us like on social media, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any of that. Uh, my handle is at naturally thrifty mom or for uh, Twitter, it's at naturally TM. But I would love to know who you would like to see me do a video with. I'm hoping this will just be another one of those things that will just help me a little bit more to make better content for you guys because that's what I want. I want to make stuff that you guys want to watch and I love doing this. Like this is what this is what I love doing. I want my videos to be ones that you're going to like as soon as you see it, you know, as soon as you see a video come up from me that you're going to be like, "Yes, Brittany's got a new video up. Let's see what she's up to." I feel like at this point in my YouTube career, you know, I know how to make videos. <laughs> I've got that down. Um, but what I really want to do is learn how to improve. Like I'm I mean, with that lookbook that I did, 
I'm, I'm just trying new things and seeing how it goes. And so far the response on that has been amazing. And the support on that has been so, so good. And I thank you so, so much for all of your sweet comments. So I'm hoping that this will, you know, teach me a few things and then hopefully also get to connect with some really awesome YouTubers and find some more people to subscribe to. For my eyeliner today, I didn't want to do anything too crazy because I mean, this is a pretty dark purple, right? I don't want it to be crazy. So I'm just taking a little bit of this black eyeliner and smudging that uh, right above my lash line and then just taking my Real Techniques eyeliner pencil, eyeliner brush, and I'm dragging that along and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this Fashionista matte black and then I'm just patting that over the top. I'm just gonna do a little bit of contour right here and up here and blend it in. It's funny, as I'm doing this, I can kind of like re-smell that CC cream. Let's see what exactly it is that I'm smelling. Oh, it has uh, rosemary in it. That's what it smells like. It smells like rosemary. I would say, you know, if you've got like oily skin, I don't think that would be the one for you. But if you have dry to normal, and especially if you don't mind like setting it, it is, it feels very nice. Honestly, it feels like I just put a serum on. I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara. Top ingredient is aloe. So sounds good to me. Actually, the packaging is really nice too. It's like this metal, it's like a darkened steel and the wand is kind of like a twisty uh, natural bristle wand. Woo, I'm dropping everything here. I love trying out stuff like this in sets because I feel like you can actually get a good feel for stuff without having to commit to like the huge price tag, especially since you get, how many, I mean like six products in here. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Oof, you guys see how dirty that mirror is? It's gross. <laughs> Oh, that's what happens when your kids get a hold of your mirror. I thought I was gonna do a second coat on my upper lashes, but honestly, I don't think I need to. Uh, so first impressions on this would be, love the packaging for one. Good ingredients, I think it did a good job, more so with volumizing than just lengthening. Um, like it's a little bit clumpy, but in a good way. So good. I am gonna add a little bit of concealer just right here. Stress blemish from that lookbook. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I had so much fun filming that, but it was a little stressful just in the editing portion, like the filming, all of that, like easy peasy. But when it comes to editing something like that and you're working with so much footage and then trying to condense it down and oh, that's hard. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of blush and this is the one that came in the set. It's in the shade Peony. And I'm putting this on this little teeny baby beauty blender. This is another one of the sets. <laughs> it's the mommy and the baby. Um, anyways, this is another one of the sets that I picked out and it's a beauty blender bundle, I guess. It's called the Pro on the Go. Oh my goodness. I've never used a beauty blender for my blush before. Wow. That was really cool. Um, <laughs> sorry, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the kit. Um, so the Pro on the Go little kit that had the beauty blender in it. It had the little mini, which I feel like normally like, I think this was, yeah, this is 40 bucks. Normally you'd spend 20 on each beauty blender, so I thought this was a good value. And then you also get the little one, you get a cleanser solid. And then this thing right here, it's called the Blotterazzi. I was excited about that one because I think you could use it instead of adding powder, which sometimes I think honestly clogs my pores because, I don't know, when you're starting to get a little oily and then you use that and you're like putting more stuff on, I think it just makes it worse. I'm gonna try to use this on this foundation because it is a little bit more dewy than I want. Hmm. Yeah, you're supposed to just use it right on top of the skin because I like doing this on the cheeks But I don't like it on my forehead or my chin. So this little guy is supposed to just absorb Any excess oil and same thing with my nose like you know, like the areas that people tend to get oily I don't want to look like I'm sweaty greasy, but I do like to look like I'm just glowing So that is perfect. And then this is supposed to be something that you can take on the go So I think that's a really cool set like I said, Derm Store hooked me up with these. They did let me pick whatever I wanted though. So th this is honestly stuff that I wanted to get. Anyway, too cool. Okay, this is something I thought was not that necessary, but especially if you're prone to like breaking out and you are oily, this is really good. Or if you've got a foundation like that CC cream, it's a little bit more oily than I'd like. And then instead of having to like buy extra product, I don't know why I'm still dabbing that thing. <laughs> I'm all done with it, it's done. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not gonna use this powder that I brought along with me because I don't need it. Uh, let's do a little bit, 
of highlight. Maybe I'll go grab one. Okay, this is the 100% Pure Pretty Naked 2 palette. I was so excited about this. I still use it like pretty much every day, honestly. But you know, I'm trying out some new things today from Juice Beauty, so I'm using those right now. I'm a little bit afraid that this lipstick might be a little too bright with my eyeshadow choice. Or it might be just perfect. Let's see. Should I just leave it like this? Okay, so I just kind of patted it out, made it a little bit more sheer. I only put it on my top lip and then kind of blended it out. I love it, honestly. I, I really do like this combination. Okay, so let's get to the her. Let's unleash the mop. I'm all about the second day hair. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of dry shampoo just sort of at my roots, kind of towards the top of my head. This is a DIY um, dry shampoo that I've got. If you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know and I'll show you how I make it. A little bit of that throughout just kind of absorbs a little bit of that extra oil and gets all over your shirt <laughs> if you're not careful. The third set that they sent me, actually this is relevant, it's about hair care. So the third set I picked out is the volume, it's a bamboo volume shampoo conditioner and then a spray. And let me tell you, it worked. I was having a really bad experience from a bulk bin natural food store thing. I had brought my own containers, was doing the zero waste thing, and I got some natural shampoo that I'd never tried before. I tried that out, it made my hair, like my scalp, so itchy. Like I have no idea what exactly was a problem. It's like a well-known natural, I mean, I guess well-known, I mean, I've seen it before. Not like I've heard of it from other people, but. Anyways, I was just giving it a try because I'm always up for trying new things. <laughs> And uh, yeah, bad experience. So I decided, okay, I know Alterna has been good to me before. Bamboo volume, I'm all about the volume. So I picked out the set that they have. It's the shampoo, conditioner, and then this volume spray. And that is why my hair is so voluminous today, you guys. This is not what my hair normally is like. Normally my hair is like stick straight, uh, flatness like it is flat to my head this is second day hair so you know it's got a little bit of extra weight to it from that but like this stuff this is the 48 hour sustainable volume spray and I don't know if it's just that I'm using it all together or what exactly but I mean it did its thing so okay I'm gonna put half of my hair up I'm gonna do a little bit of curling today I had tried some stuff from Alterna before that I really really liked it wasn't the volumizing line, but I knew my hair loved it. And it does have, I think, synthetic fragrance in it. That's the only downside. But as far as like really good performing hair care that's sulfate, paraben, all that stuff free, I don't know if you guys find this, but I always have such a hard time finding natural products that are good for like when you're trying to have certain styles with your hair. Like guys have it so easy, you know? Like they can just use Dr. Bronner's or something on their hair, but for women it's harder. Especially when you've got like color treated hair and you don't want to be messing with that or losing your color. Now guys, I'm just specifically giving you kind of my review and thoughts about the three th sets that I tried. I mean, there are tons of sets from tons of different brands. Storm Store is huge. They have, I feel like they said over 600 different brands. And um, stuff like RMS Beauty, Herbivore Botanicals, other ones that I'm really excited about. I'm so glad that they wanted to pair with me on this video because for one, it gives me complete creative control. You know, I can, I can say what I want and do what I want in the video. But it's also nice that they're wanting to um, work with me on something where they're having a sale so it's like relevant for you guys, you know? I'm all about saving where you can. Um, I feel like using brands that you can trust and brands that you really like, products that are worth it, worth your hard-earned dollars, and then getting those at a discount. Like, that's what I love doing. I love sharing that kind of stuff with you. I'm gonna go ahead and let the top half down and just throw in some quick curls. Cause I don't know about you, but I get really impatient when I'm curling my hair. Like I don't wanna sit here for half an hour, you know? If you're curious about this curling iron that I'm using, it's the Harry Josh Pro Tools. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I'll link all these things down below, but um, yeah, it's a clipless or a clip wand. You can take it off and it heats up really fast. I had one from Sally's that I used forever uh, and it took forever to heat up. I didn't realize it until I had started using one like this. Just in case you're wondering about like the method I'm using, really I'm just trying to get kind of like a all over, I don't know, all over body is what I'm trying to make here. So I'm gonna really like rough this out and I'm not necessarily gonna keep 
you know, like ringlets. Sometimes I like to use a tapered wand and really keep that shape. For today, I'm just kind of wanting to make some body. Yeah, I'm just curling mostly away from my face. I do throw in some that are um, going the other direction just because, why not? Don't want to be too predictable. Well, that side's cooling down. I'm just going to give it a quick spray. Hopefully I can keep a little bit of this body and curls. I feel really out of my element because I don't normally do this in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, this is normally a bathroom kind of thing. Uh-oh. Baby girl's waking up. Okay, let me get her. You guys can say hello. Hi, girl. Hi. Oh, you slept pretty good. She had a really rough night last night, so this was her little nap time. And you did pretty good. I remembered I forgot to do my eyebrows, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh, you wanna go see your daddy for a minute? No, you probably wanna eat. Okay, I'm gonna feed this lady, and I'll come back to my eyebrows, and we'll be done. Okay, we are done. All right, brows are on. Hair is done. Now, what I did, I basically just went and picked Kaylee up and kind of zhuzhed my hair. I hope you enjoyed the chatty get ready with me. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and that lets me know that you liked it, and also that you'd like to see more videos like this. Let's see, what did we talk about today? We talked about Vlogger Day, Vlogger Fair, if there's any other content creators going that you think I should connect with, maybe do a collab with, or maybe just include in a vlog if I'm able to vlog that day, then let me know. And if you're interested in any of these products that I mentioned, then check my description below, especially these sets. Let me just do a quick rundown of the sets that I showed you. If you haven't tried the Beauty Blender before and you're kind of skeptical, like is it worth the price? Uh, I think it is. I've obviously I've been using it for years, but go in on it with a friend. That way you can kind of like split the cost and each try one and some of the extras. I think that's a really good way to do it. Uh, the Gwyneth Paltrow kit from Juice Beauty. This is beautiful. I love the lipstick. It's really smooth. Um, this cream blush blended out really easily, especially with the Beauty Blender. Mascara I would say is pretty average. I liked it. It did a really good job. Just one coat. The CC cream, not good for oily skin. Not that it's like the biggest part of the kit. It's kind of, you know, like the sample sizes, but really good if you've got dry skin like me. And then also the liquid, liquid lipstick. I think this is really good value. And then the hair care set. I don't have the box here, but I do have the shampoo, conditioner, and the little spray. This is where it's at. Like if you've ever used the Big Sexy Hair, it's not a natural product, but the Big Sexy Hair uh, Root Boost, I feel like this gives like a better effect than that. And that's what I had been using before. I think it does really good. And especially on like second day hair, I think it did really good. I could amp up this volume. I mean, look at that, but I'm, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I'm cool with it how it is. Anyways, I think that's a really neat one. And I didn't mention it, but the tops of these, can you guys see that? Like, it's so cool. You just twist this and it comes out this little top thing here. You could just squeeze it out. Anyways, you can check out those sets down below if you're interested. Thank you so much, Derm Store, for giving me this opportunity. And thank you all for watching, for subscribing, and all that you do and allowing me to make these videos and play here on YouTube. Thank you so much, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.